I could make a wish, I would wish that no child ever had to go through or would have to go through what John and I and everyone in that documentary went through. And then I wonder, why do I have to make a wish to change it? There is a science out there that is proven to educate. What you witnessed was me in under five days of just a few hours go from functionally illiterate to reading. What you truly need to understand, it did far more than that. It gave me back my life. Because you see, we are destroying our children. I knew nothing about reading wars. I knew nothing about balanced literacy or all the other, I don't know what you call it, absolutely ridiculous infighting and battles between types of reading that should be done. Who gives an effing damn? <laughs> when there is a way to solve a crisis in a country, and it's right in front of us. You know what I really learned from this? The damage we do to the children starts so young. We need to implement this from kindergarten, grade one, two. If I can do that in a week, can you imagine where our children would be in a couple of years? I can't imagine. This would be the most powerful, greatest nation on earth. Yet we choose to fight. I look online and I see the language and I see the hatred. We should be ashamed of ourselves because what this gave back to me was my being, my inner worth, because that was what was destroyed in me as a child, my self-worth, my dignity. I loathed myself even though I became successful. And that is what we are doing to the children. Because when I left the learning that I did, I noticed something like a miracle. My mind quieted down. I didn't loathe myself. I didn't look at everything I couldn't do any longer. I was happy and joyful. And it was so powerful. So what I ask you to do when you go back out there in that world, come at this from love and caring. Because no one should go through what anyone, and I know what John went through, and I know what I went through, and it doesn't have to happen, and we can stop it right now. Because I will tell you this. It changed my life so much that I went from possibly reading a few books in my entire life. I read every single day. I get up at 5.30 in the morning, and I read till 7.30, and I look forward to it, and I crave it, and I love it. And it's not because I want to read, I need it. You see, when my mind changed, when, it, when, my, when I got the space in my head to comprehend what I was reading, I found out why people read. <laughs> you don't need to watch the movie. Just as you were saying, you can read the book, and it is amazing, and that's what I will do for the rest of my life. But we have lives out there we have to look after. And so help me, God, I'm going to make it a mission to do it. And I would encourage all of you to do it. Because, you know, the most important thing of all, what I would have never said before, is not only must we come from love, not only do I love my life, but for the first time in my life, I love me. And I couldn't do that before. I want to say thank you to John and Nora and Nick for inviting me into this, to have me see the horror that lives in that so that you could witness that I would put myself vulnerable like that because it's all documented, five days, there's more hours than what you see there. You will see every single change in me if you are a denier of the truth because that is real. We could start today and we'd be finished by the end of the week with the whole friggin' country. <laughs> Maybe not that quick, but my God. It's been 50 years since I was in school and we're still arguing about it. Thank you.